Ja, Skauer. <lacht> This video shows how to troubleshoot and clear alarm A.810 in the MPIEC web server. Go to Machine Operations, Drive PN tab, select the axis, Absolute Encoder Init, then Reboot. The rest of this video will explain the alarm, demonstrate three methods to clear it, and touch on related troubleshooting and programming tips. Alarm A.810 means that the absolute encoder of the servo motor lost the position during power off because the battery power was lost. The absolute encoder battery is usually located on the encoder cable inside a plastic housing. Please don't confuse this battery with the controller data backup battery. A810 will occur if the encoder cable is ever disconnected from the motor or if during power off the battery is dead, disconnected, replaced, or simply missing. A normal alarm clear is not sufficient for alarm A810. An absolute encoder reset and power cycle must be performed in number one, the web server, or number two, MotionWorks IEC hardware configuration, or number three, directly through the servo pack, that's the SGDV amplifier, using the software SigmaWin Plus. Now we'll demonstrate these three methods, starting with method one, the web server. In the MPIEC web server, log in as admin with capital A and password MP. 2300S, all caps. Different MPIEC controllers have different default passwords. We're using the MP2300SIEC controller in this example. Then go to Machine Operations. The alarm is confirmed here on axis number one. Go to the Drive PN tab, select the axis, and click the ABS encoder init button. The message indicates that a reboot is required. Click OK, and then under Maintenance, choose Reboot, Reboot Controller, and OK. After about 30 seconds, the reboot completes, and assuming the battery is connected this time, alarm status shows no alarm. Now, please understand that a reset absolute encoder does not set the position to zero but it can change the feedback position read by the controller. For this reason, it is critically important to execute the machine's homing routine or zero set procedure anytime reset absolute encoder is used. Method two uses MotionWorks IEC. In MotionWorks IEC, open the hardware configuration and connect online. The axis with the alarm is red in the hardware tree. Click on the axis. The alarm tab confirms the alarm code, A810. Here, reset absolute encoder is this button, and OK to confirm. The message indicates a power cycle or reboot is next. Under the online menu, choose reboot controller. Again, wait about 30 seconds for the reboot. Then connect, and check the alarm tab again. If the encoder had battery power during the reboot, the alarm will be cleared. Method three uses SigmaWin Plus. Connect the USB cable directly to the servo pack with the alarm. In SigmaWin Plus, click search, then connect to the servo pack, clicking continue at the warning. Under the setup menu, choose set absolute encoder and then reset absolute encoder. The warning explains that machine zero must be recalibrated after using this function. Execute setting, continue, OK, and close the dialog. As in the other two methods, here also the alarm code does not immediately disappear. Turn the power to the system off and on again. And if the encoder had battery power during reboot, the alarm will be cleared. Reset absolute encoder can also be accomplished directly to the servo pack with the handheld digital operator and function 008. This procedure is described in detail in the Sigma 5 manual, section 4.7.4. If the alarm A810 persists, this may mean that the encoder battery is discharged 
or there is a disconnect between the battery and encoder. It is also possible that the encoder battery is located elsewhere and connected through the CN1 I.O. cable, which then must also be plugged in. It is further possible that the absolute functionality is not being used. In this configuration, there is no battery and parameter PN002 must be set to use the absolute encoder as incremental. In this scenario, it's likely that the machine performs a homing routine at every power up. Remember, as previously stated, clearing this alarm invalidates the position of the axis. The axis position must be recalibrated for zero position. If you're involved in the programming of the MPIC controller, we suggest using the absolute position manager function block. You can use it to clear alarm A810 to detect whether or not the position from the absolute encoder is valid and to set the zero position. This fourth method allows the entire process to be self-contained, sequenced, and customized within the machine without connecting a PC. Absolute Position Manager is part of the PLC Open Toolbox user library, available for free from yaskawa.com. Thanks for watching this video, and remember yaskawa.com slash IEC for application notes, videos, firmware updates, and more.